The NumWorks graphing calculator was first released in 2017 and became popular with teachers, students, and calculator enthusiasts for being cheaper and having more features than the leading brands such as HP, Casio, and Texas Instruments. But the thing that set it apart from its competitors the most was the ability to install custom operating systems and programs on it. That feature was not only important to the customers, but to the NumWorks company itself. That was in 2017. At the start of the 2017 school year, the NumWorks was first available to the public after winning the fifth Digital Innovation Contest in France. The calculator was the first to support Python programming natively, and the entire operating system was open source, meaning that you can view the code and modify it yourself. However, the operating system, known as Epsilon, had a license that said you could not distribute modified versions of it without sending your suggestions to NumWorks directly. In 2018, after discussions between NumWorks and the community, NumWorks agreed to change the license of Epsilon, now allowing the community to make modified versions of the operating system and distribute them, leading to much more development on the calculator, bringing more functionality and, in some cases, more fun. The two most prominent community-driven operating systems were called Omega and Delta, also named after Greek characters like Epsilon. However, in early 2020, things took a turn for the worse. After the NumWorks was accepted by the Netherlands as an officially allowed model in schools, student Moritz von Altvorst was very upset. After posting an article on his website stating that NumWorks was basically allowing cheating, he went on to show the steps in order to remove exam mode from the calculator, a very irresponsible move. I'll put a link to the article in the top right corner in case you're interested in reading it as well. After publishing this post, he then went on to send it to the government authorities responsible for allowing the NumWorks in schools in the Netherlands. However, it doesn't stop there. After this incident, a YouTube channel known as Dark Programmer published a video making it seem like the NumWorks OS had cheating enabled by default, even going as far as to upload modified versions of the OS with cheating features to Google Drive. While both the post and the YouTube video have since been deleted, there is no way to reverse the problems they had already caused. In June of 2021, NumWorks released Epsilon 16, but with that update came some hidden changes. Upon installing the update on your calculator, it modifies your calculator's memory and prevents you from installing any custom operating system, meaning that the open source idea of 2017 is lost, along with many other functionalities and the ability to write your own apps for the calculator. The update will not warn you, so update at your own risk. While it is possible to downgrade, the process is very technical, so it's not a very good solution. Thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like and subscribe. It's free and it means a lot to me as well. This has been Tiny Hacker and I hope to see you in the next video.